In this video, I'm going to be talking about an application that allows you to create applications out of websites that you uh, maybe frequently use. So why would you want to do that? Well, perhaps uh, something that doesn't have a native app uh, on the Mac, for example, something like Twitter, um, you may want to just create a standalone app that you can always open up and know that you're going to go right to your uh, Twitter page. Uh, or perhaps you want it for something like Amazon, Netflix, or the any <laughs> website that you can think about. Uh, well, that is what this application does, and it's called Coherence X. <laughs> Uh, in fact, X4, I believe we're on now, and uh, I'm not sure whether that's supposed to be a 10 or an X, but anyway, uh, we'll just uh, work with it. <laughs> so uh, Co Coherence X is available as a standalone application, and you can buy it from uh, their website. I'll leave a link in the description. It is uh, $29.99 for one license, or they've got various other different options for licensing it for 2 Max, for 5 Max, for 10 Max, 25 Max, uh, and so on. So there's all these different licensing options, but wait, <laughs> there is potentially an easier way because it's also available on Setup. Now, Setup is basically a monthly subscription that you pay, which is just $9.99, and that gives you access to over 200 great apps for the Mac, and uh, you can get a free trial of it, uh, as can anybody. Uh, but if you use my link to go and get the free trial, as well as the seven day free trial, uh, then you will also, once you sign up, get an extra month free added on to your subscription, uh, and I will get a month free as well. That is just how their affiliate program works. So we both win. <laughs> uh, it is a great uh, service. It means that you've got access to, as I say, over 200 apps, and they're all these kind of sort of uh, little utility apps that can really boost your productivity on the Mac uh, and you can download them use them uh, try them out if you don't like them offload them and uh, just use them like that or if you are short of space on your Mac perhaps you can just download it for the particular task that you want to do uh, and then offload it when you don't need it knowing that you can always uh, re-download it again so as I say setup is a great service and I highly recommend it try it today at takeonetech.io slash setup but uh, in any case let's get back to what we're talking about today and that is <laughs> coherence so what does uh, coherence look like in terms of the actual application itself well it's about as simple as they come that's what the interface looks like when you open it up and uh, all you're going to do is it's going to ask you uh, to uh, if you want to create an application uh, now the way it works is it's actually got some sort of pre-made uh, applications if you like uh, which is just links to uh, existing websites that it thinks might be useful to you so you can either click on this create application here this nice big, big button there uh, we'll come on to the my applications in a moment but you can see it's already got a few that have uh, been populated down here so if you wanted to create a standalone gmail app for example uh, you would just come and click on here and then you can see install or customize so if i was to click on customize then it would just bring up a couple of things so you could change the name of it uh, change the exact uh, web address that it was going to although it's obviously pre-populated with um, uh, gmail you can also choose the application path so where you want to actually save these two so uh, i'm leaving these as the default being the uh, uh, applications folder uh, and then you can also also get the app icon so if you wanted to uh, add your own icon you could do that as a default you can see it's just pulling the app icon from the web and it does actually a very good job of that so here you can see uh, we've got Facebook Twitter Amazon and then if you click on the more uh, apps button uh, then it's going to bring up a load of other websites that you may be interested in so uh, it's as simple as uh, just clicking on any one of these so uh, let's just go back and if I wanted to install Twitter then I would uh, I have actually already got it installed so <laughs> let me pick a different one let's just say I wanted to install a, a standalone Facebook app uh, then I would just click on this install button and then it's going to ask you which browser you want to use as the sort of container for this because although it uh, does appear as an application on your Mac it is essentially just a, a wrapper around the uh, the website so uh, because I've got the Chrome browser and Brave browser included on my Mac or installed on my Mac, it's given me the option of which one of those I want to use. So I'm just going to stick with Chrome for now. Uh, and there we go. That was as simple as that. You can see how it says it's uh, now created, application successfully created, uh, and you can choose to launch it now. Uh, it does just sit in your uh, menu bar. Uh, at the bottom sorry in the dock I should say um, so when I launch it it's just going to have that icon and sit in the dock and then it's loading up Facebook it's going to ask me to uh, log in so I won't uh, bore you with my credentials <laughs> but then it does just basically look like a standalone app so I can show you what this looks like with the Twitter app which I have as I say already installed so there you can see the uh, Twitter app and uh, what it does is it's basically removing all of the other things around the uh, the browser interface so you don't get the browser bar 
the search bar tabs or things like that uh, and so uh, you've just got this view so that would be how my Twitter looks if I want to have it in this standalone app uh, and then I can just always launch it from the dock so that was a look at basically how to create these apps um, now if you want to create one that isn't one of the built-in ones so if I come back over here and then let's go to create another app uh, then if you want to uh, make your own uh, you can either come to this more apps and click on custom app um, or if you come back to the main screen and click create application uh, this is where we can create one of our own so let's just say that I wanted to uh, I don't know create one for my buy me a coffee maybe a good point to say if you're enjoying my content and want to support the channel on a one-off or ongoing basis then you can head over to buymeacoffee.com slash take one tech uh, to either make a donation there or to sign up for a monthly subscription uh, so let's just say I wanted to have my buy me a coffee page as a uh, standalone app so just to be clear here is what it looks like in the uh, regular web interface so you can see obviously we've got the address bar and all of the uh, things associated with the browser the tabs and things like that uh, so let's say that I want to just actually create a standalone app for this well uh, if I come back over here now uh, let's give this application a name so we're going to call it uh, buy me a coffee or bmac for short <laughs> bmac like that uh, and then it's asking for the uh, url so we just want to put in that url so i've copied that one over from uh, there or at least i thought i had obviously i didn't <laughs> let me uh, come back and try that again there we go second time lucky um, and now we're going to choose the application path as we uh, saw before i'm just going to leave that one as it is uh, now you can see that we've got the space to add the uh, app icon in here um, now what you can do is you can actually choose add an app icon sorry from here from either the web or browse the Mac but actually just clicking in it it will go and try and re uh, retrieve uh, an app icon from the website itself so uh, BMAC has actually got their app icon on there so that if you're adding it as a web app or whatever on the uh, uh, iPhone for example this would be the app that would show up so it has actually just gone and grabbed that one uh, there is a couple of things we can change in terms of the app here so you can change the uh, the style of the app the different rounded corners things like that uh, whether you want to use the uh, application as a browser uh, to be able to do other things in there or use in incognito mode um, and then you've also got the option to create a tabbed app so if you are then uh, using a tabbed view or it's something you want to use with a tab view you can actually still include those tabs um, but that's essentially it now if I just click on the uh, next here it's going to take me through to the next screen once again we can choose between the uh, Chrome or Brave browser I'm going to leave it as Chrome and click on next uh, and then from here if there are any extensions or plugins or things like that that you've got in in Chrome that you specifically need to have active on the uh, the, the application that we're creating uh, then you would just pick those here I haven't got any that I'm using or that are relevant to this particular site uh, same goes for profiles as well so it's as simple as that and then just click on create application and then that is going to bring us to this uh, screen and it's now completed so then you've got the option to uh, launch now or choose another app so let's just launch it and just double check that it is working and it's come right over this screen <laughs> so here you can see it's loading up and I'll just make it a little bit smaller so that you can see uh, it's basically just given that uh, website a wrapper now I'm guessing I probably won't be actually using this so I may want to just actually offload this uh, because I don't really see the need to have this particular website as a, a standalone app it's not really uh, what it's intended for uh, which is a good reason uh, to uh, demo why uh, or how rather you might want to uh, remove apps once you've created them so uh, you can obviously just delete them from within the app uh, folder itself um, but let's just come back to here and we'll go back to the main screen uh, because there was this thing here that I mentioned before where it says my application so if you just open coherence uh, and by the way you don't need to have coherence open when you're actually using these apps so what you're only using this to actually set them up uh, and then once they're set up they just uh, work as standalone applications um, but if you do want to uh, edit any of them then you can just come into here to my applications and you'll see the list of the ones that I've uh, got there created uh, and then it tells you a little bit of information about them and you've got these three little dots next to each one so let's just say I want to delete that buy me a coffee one that I've just created then you can just click on the three little dots here uh, and then you can either edit it if you want to change any of the details uh, if you're not sure where it is if you hadn't saved it in the applications folder you can reveal in finder or you can just actually delete it from here as well so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that it will ask you to confirm it if you really want to do it uh, yeah I think I do <laughs> so I'm just going to click on delete and there it's gone 
So that is Coherence. It's a great little app in my uh, estimation for uh, making apps out of websites. <laughs> it's around about $30 uh, to buy it as a standalone app. But as I say, it's much better value if you use it as part of the setup bundle. Uh, link down below in the description and just beneath me here as well. Uh, so you can get that for $9.99 a month to get this, plus over 200 other great apps. Uh, and because there are so many great setup apps, I'm going to leave a link to other setup videos over on the right hand side. So be sure to go and check out that playlist too.